10 things you should know about adopting a dog during the corona age. Hi, I'm Shani on Let's Dog About It, a channel dedicated to explaining dog psychology, behavior, communication, and training. So you realize that you finally have the time to get the dog you always wanted. It will be so amazing to fill up the house with the doggy presents. It will be great for the kids and you can save a dog from a life in a cage. Definitely a win-win situation. But adopting a dog during the corona age is different than in normal times. You can't do the things you can normally do. The dog will get adapted to this routine, but it will be harder for him to adapt when the routine changes. I'm sure you thought about the day after, when things get back to normal, and you promised yourself that this is a forever adoption. But going back to the old routine with a dog in the house will be challenging. I'm here to help you understand the responsibility in this decision. What can you expect and how can you use this time to build a good foundation that will last? Number one, the first week or two or even the first month is time for adaption. The dog is just adopted still doesn't feel comfortable being himself and you can't judge his behavior yet. This is a time where you get to know each other. His behavior at this time doesn't necessarily reflect on how life with him will be. You need to learn him and he needs to learn you. Maybe in the first few days he will hide in a corner or maybe he will explore the house. Maybe he'll do his business inside. Give it time. Teach him patiently things will change. He will slowly come out of his shell and you will get to know the real him. Number two, a tired dog is a happy dog and happy owner. If you can't provide proper long walks to release energy, you might have to make up for it inside the house. Playing together, training, dancing, whatever you can do to get him tired at the end of the day, it will make things so much easier for all of you. Number three, dogs talk to us all the time. We need to learn how to listen. Listen to him if he signals you that he needs to go out. When he wants space, he might growl at you. He might bark when he's scared. Maybe he will choose to be under the table for a few days. Maybe he will walk away when you try to pet him. Whatever it is, it's okay. Let him express himself and feel comfortable doing so. When a dog feels comfortable talking to us, he will feel more secure and it will be much easier to understand him and to handle him even when he's upset. Number four, dogs like to know what's going on. You should create a certain schedule that the dog can expect. Walk times in a specific time window. It doesn't have to be the exact same time, but it should be in a certain time frame. For example, morning walk can be between 8 and 10 a.m. Afternoon walk can be between 1 and 3. Evening same and night and same for the feeding times. This way, the dog can get himself used to your hours and it'll be easier for him to get used to your routine too. Number five, your dog needs his own private space around the house where he can go to that nobody disturbs him. This is very important, especially with a house full of kids. That space should be in one of the corners in a main space around the house where you usually hang out. The kids should know that when the dog goes to his place, he needs to be alone. This will give the dog the chance to go to his own private space when he needs a moment and can prevent unpleasant incidents between the dog and the kids. This is not a place for punishment. This is a safe zone. Number six. You should get the dog used to being alone in the house to prevent separation anxiety. After a few months of you being at home with the dog 24-7, it will be very hard for him to get used to being alone in the house 8-9 hours a day. Make an effort every day or two, get dressed and ready, and leave the house for at least 10 or 15 minutes within the health restrictions in your area. If you want this to work even after you get back to work, don't skip this phase. Number seven. <laughs> Use this time at home with him to start teaching him things you want him to learn. Teach him basic behaviors like sit, down, go to your place, come to me. I strongly recommend that you teach him also tricks and behaviors for fun and not only boring basic obedience. You can find endless YouTube tutorials for every behavior you want to teach. This will be a very fun and tiring activity for the whole family. Number eight, use your discretion about what information you find online. There are all kinds of approaches for dog education and training. You will find a lot of contradicting information that will get you mostly confused. 
find the trainer that you like and follow his or hers online content. If you read or hear or see something that doesn't feel right, it's probably not right for you. Find a professional that speaks to you and others like him and stick to that. Number nine, you brought home a living, breathing creature. You are the sole responsible for his well-being. It's your responsibility to feel his needs. It's your responsibility to make him feel safe. It's your responsibility to teach him the rules of the house. And it's your responsibility to make sure that he's happy. He is not responsible for himself and he never will be. It's all on you. Number 10, don't give up so fast, especially if this is your first dog. Your dog is a partner for 10 to 15 years and this is only the first year. This is the beginning of the journey that you committed to when you adopted the dog. This is the year that you get to know each other. You're gonna grow together and behaviors and dynamics will change over time and it all depends on you. Take a step back and look at the big picture. Even if you have difficulties now, that doesn't mean this is how it's always gonna be. Give it some time, get professional help if you need it and be patient. You are all getting adapted to something new right now. <sighs> Well, these are my 10 points. Enjoy your new dog, the good times and the bad. If you want to dive deeper inside your dog's mind, subscribe to my channel. We're all about that. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps you with raising the most amazing creature. And I wish us a fast return to life and hugs. I'm Shani and this is my Chancho and I'll be here with you next week with a brand new video. Ya pongo.